Hello, and thank you so much for your interest in the Cash-Based Practice Freedom eCourse. My name is Jared Carter. I'm down here in the little circle talking to you. Um, I'm actually starting us here uh, on our members area homepage, not in the Cash Practice eCourse homepage, just to show you that when you enroll in the uh, eCourse, you also for a few months have access to the mastermind. Um, and on a weekly basis, we have a, an online, I'm sorry, yeah, an online but live group coaching call. And we also have a private Facebook group. And then within the members uh, area of the mastermind in this website, there's a big FAQ section, a big resources section, a lot of other resources available to you as well. So that's huge, huge value added to um, to whenever you have uh, you know taken the e-course. And it's an incredibly supportive wonderful community of like-minded practice owners or soon to be practice owners kind of all in the same boat supporting one another answering questions and, and providing resources that uh, that you know I might not have or, or remember to, to throw in so it's really really become a supportive group that is that is uh, really pushing everyone forward in the in the right direction all right so let's hop over to the course homepage and so um, here we, we come down and every, uh, every page essentially is going to have kind of a, or every lesson, every topic is going to have a, a, uh, an intro video to give you information and everything has audio. The audio of the video is, is extracted separately so that you can listen to it on the go uh, if you'd like to. So uh, just to point out a few things before we get into the course modules and all the lessons and what you'll learn, here are some important downloads. You can, you can get the action plan journal, whether you want to type into it or you want to print it out and write into it. Uh, you can do either. And then there is the uh, cash practice um, workbook. And so this is a pretty big workbook. In fact, I'd say this is a very, it's a very big course in general. And to be honest, um, I've had people say, look, this, this should be like two or three courses. And I don't say that to scare anyone. Uh, I just say it because I made the decision that I wanted to create a course that really truly gives you everything that you need to know. Not to say that you have to implement every 100% of it to have success, but that you have all of the tools, all the knowledge, all the strategies, and all the resources necessary to create and grow a cash-based practice or transition uh, out of network from uh, an established practice into the cash pay model. I'll talk a little bit more later about that as well. And so um, the difference between this course um, and others that I've taken or, or seen out there, and not just in like the say in the cash based practice realm, but just in general is that I think courses can be um, heavy, heavy, heavy on information, which this one certain is, but then you end the course and you're like, well, what do I do now? It's like analysis by paralysis. You have so much information, so many strategies. And so for me, the solution to that is that I wanted people to come out of this course with an action plan. And so this is a month by month, 12 month plan, a one year plan that you're going to actually be filling out as you go through the course based on your desires, your strengths, your target market, all those things. You get to choose where you're going to start to implement certain components of marketing, um, when you're going to try and get certain foundational pieces in place. And so you build out that action plan as you go. And then at the end, you not only have all the knowledge, but then you have a step by step guide on how you're going to you know, actually implement, take action and build your cash practice. So I think it's really, really important that we have that component in this course. Um, because it really is the thing that's that's going to be that ongoing guide. And, you know, five months into it, you're not wondering, well, what do I do now? What's next? What, you know, what should I do? Should I do this or that? It's all there for you. And I walk you through how to create that action plan throughout the course. Okay, so let's get into the course modules. Uh, modules one through five are what I consider kind of the first half of the foundations, um, setting the foundations for creating a practice and then the second half is all about the different ways uh, to market your practice and fill it with cash pay patients. So the first thing we start with is mindset. I'm huge on mindset because it's not that nothing else in this course matters with the wrong mindset, but kind of does. I mean, in a way, if you have certain limitations and, uh, and certain uh, limiting beliefs, um, certain things about the value you place on your services, your beliefs about money and wealth, um, as well as not understanding and knowing the mindset of an ideal cash pay patient, 
uh, those things are really going to hold you back. And even if you are really uh, executing at a top level on all the other stuff, it's still going to be a grind and much harder to create and scale the, this type of practice if you don't have the mindset component right. And so I'm actually just going to click into this first one just so you have an idea of what's inside the modules. What, uh, what happens is you come in, every one of them has an introduction uh, video. Uh, again, you can listen to audio as you, as you like. Uh, and then down here, you can click on the different lessons. You can also uh, use the arrows to, to click uh, to and from the different lessons. Uh, so we'll go back to the course home and uh, I'll show you at the very end a list of all the different lessons under each module. Okay, so module tool two, <laughs> we get into the patient life cycle. Um, and I have here multiple opportunities and multiple profit leaks. And the, the gist of this is that it's a 10 step process. And if you don't know what each of those steps are, you're probably gonna be trying to skip steps and you're gonna be losing a lot of patients um, because you're trying to move them along that process too fast. And that process essentially goes from pre-awareness of you, of your clinic, of your, of your brand to raving fan and customer for life. And there's a lot that goes into each one of those steps in between where you can, if you're not doing it right, you're either going to lose a ton of business or if you, if you know, even simple little tweaks that you'll learn about in this module can result in an incredible amount of, of gained revenue over time or the, um, uh, or avoiding lost revenue, just little tweaks, little tips. It's just, it's an awesome module uh, to start out with and truly foundational to have success in this practice model. Uh, module three, we get into the dreaded, do you take my insurance question? And I put this here, not just because I do think it is a foundational skill to be able to to manage and, and uh, handle that question and, and teach your staff to handle that question. Um, it really is foundational for success in this in the uh, private pay business model. Um, but I put it here also because whenever I've taught this course live in the past um, and I go through the patient, excuse me, the patient life cycle, inevitably someone says, well, what happens in that one part where you're on the phone with them or you're in a consultation with them and they say, do you take my insurance? And so I know that most people would be in, you know, asking that same question or wondering that same question. So I wanted to go ahead and address it. And it's a big question. This is not just a set, you know, answer or script because it depends on when that question is asked and a number of other factors in that conversation. And so I go into detail of if it's said here and it's said in this way, this is what I do um, and, and change it up depending on all these different factors. So it's, it's quite um, it's quite an important and in-depth module uh, to, to how to address that question and, and you know, convert as many people asking that question into paying customers as possible. Then we get into the logistics, the, the nuts and bolts, everything from you know, legal entity and insurance needs to EMR and lead generation platforms, everything in between. It's actually a very big module. I think there's four different lessons in here. Um, and, and it's one of the larger modules because there's even a, a low overhead, fairly simple cash pay practice in order to run well and run smoothly and then scale if you'd like it to, it really it does require a lot of different logistic logistical pieces. And, and so in this, you're going to learn about all those, put them into your action plan so you know exactly what to do um, as you're getting started or you're transitioning um, out of network. <clears throat> So then we have uh, a founda the foundations for our marketing. Um, I'll go ahead and click into this one as well. And so I call these marketing foundations because if you don't understand uh, the type of practice that you're trying to create, the type of mission you have, the type of core values that you want to promote within your practice, um, and you don't understand your ideal patient and all the details of exactly who you're trying to attract, then all the marketing stuff that comes after this module um, again, you're just kind of shooting in all directions. You don't have a, a firm target to shoot at. And without these other components to be able to ask the questions, you're going to have so many questions in business that come up where you can literally, once you have these things defined, you can say, you know, when I'm looking at this decision, is this going to help me to connect with and attract and serve my ideal patient? Is this in line with the, the core values of my business? Is this going to help me to um, accomplish my mission with this business? So these are very important foundational items to have before you start into all the marketing stuff. So now if we go on back uh, and continue on to the second half of the course, now we're getting into all the different marketing strategies. And for me, I've always said 
um, that I have a three pronged approach to cash practice marketing. And so that is word of mouth and the maximization or optimization of word of mouth. Um, also just online reviews, I consider part of word of mouth, actually. Uh, then we have offline and in-person marketing and then online marketing. And with word of mouth, this is, I mean, you if you look at all three of these, I actually know of practices that survive and, and somewhat thrive. Sometimes they're smaller practices um, on just one of these alone, maybe a little bit of each of them. Uh, but but when you really put all of them into place, you, you create a, a scenario where the yo-yo of your schedule and of your staff schedule, really, you, you stopped having, you, I'm sorry, the roller coaster, I meant, you stop having the ups and downs. It really fills in to have, you know, when one maybe drops off for a month or two, the other two are filling in the gaps. And it's not something that happens overnight. You know, this is this is something where you're, you're creating an action plan to execute on for the next year and beyond. And so word of mouth marketing is like, the most incredible low hanging fruit. And there's so many simple little things that you'll learn in this module that you can start to implement right away at no cost to maximize the amount of people that you're already seeing that are sending their friends and family and colleagues, as well as that are putting online reviews, uh, you know, up on Google and in other places that make a huge, huge impact on how many people come in and you're not paying for that stuff. That is, this is truly low cost, low hanging fruit. And there's a lot that can be done to optimize it. It's not just a passive thing. You can do a lot to, to actively uh, ma maximize your word of mouth marketing. Then we get into offline and online, uh, I'm sorry, offline and in-person marketing. And here I have old school is a good school. That's a quote from, I think my brother, I, he's all, he always says it and I love it. Um, and it's true. I don't um, I don't know that there is anything that came close to the offline and in-person marketing uh, when I was first starting my practice that really got it going. Yeah, I had some word of mouth um, and yeah, I was starting to do some online stuff, but I pounded the pavement. I was going to networking things. I was putting on presentations, some of those presentations um, and some of those workshops and some of those networking connections that I've made have created individually five figures of revenue, multiple of those things, five figures of revenue for my practice over time. And I mix in some online strategies into those offline strategies to make sure that the efforts that I, uh, that I uh, put in, 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 you know, those one-time efforts continue to pay off for years and years to come. And you'll learn all about how to do that um, in this module. It's a very, very powerful thing. Don't overlook it and think, oh, I just want to do the online stuff because that's like the cool thing to do do it all. And this is really what got my practice started. So if you're just starting out, you're going to find some real, real gems here to get you going. Online marketing. It's a mammoth. Um, you know, I could, I could talk about this stuff all day long and it ended up being the biggest module um, because there is so many different ways. And it's not that you have going through this course, you have to do all these things. I just want to make sure you have the tools and the knowledge to do all these things. So um, just to run through it real quickly, we get into lead generation and nurture systems and what those are and how to set them up. The lead magnets, that is a continuation of that. I mean, there are so many people out there, that, I shouldn't laugh, this is terrible, uh, but they spend so much time and energy on lead magnets that um, don't get seen, or if they are seen, they don't get clicked on and downloaded. If they do get clicked on and downloaded and actually read, uh, they're written in a way that um, or, or it's a vid if it's a video series, they're produced in a way that people don't act on them. And so you've just kind of wasted a lot of time and energy and money setting those things up if you don't know how to do it right. And these lessons, you will learn how to do each one of these things right. Then, of course, after they've downloaded it, you got to have good emails, again, that make them actually take action and create business for your practice. Blogging. I know it's old school in a way at this point, but it still works. It works in a lot of different ways. But again, it's one of those things where if you're not doing it right, then you're wasting your time and you're going to lose a lot of time where you could have been focusing on something else uh, that produced more for your business. In this one and each of these, there are a lot of different resources. Uh, when you click in, you can, you know, on that page, there'll be any resources that I have where you can download. And this one in particular with blogging, um, there are there's a really, really uh, awesome resource I have that I wrote for my uh, for my employees on the on how to make uh, create blog posts that actually produce business for the practice. And we have a few 
certainly a few that have uh, created four figures of revenue for the practice, but even a few that have created five figures over time of revenue for the practice. So it still works and it's still worth your time, but only if you're doing it right. And that's what you'll learn here in this lesson. And we have video. Video has probably been even bigger than blogging for my practice. Honestly, I have multiple videos that have created five figures of revenue and new patients over time. Um, it's a super powerful tool. And even if it freaks you out, it, I, trust me, you'll learn how to do it right in this in this lesson and have it producing the same kind of results uh, for your practice. Email marketing, again, a lot of people think that it doesn't work. It actually does. I mean, a lot of people watching this video probably received emails from me and have been compelled to take action. And, and now you're watching this video. Um, it does work. And if people don't like it, they can unsubscribe. And, and this lesson is all about how to actually produce business with your email marketing. And then finally, social media marketing, the ever changing uh, topic. Um, and this is about what's working now and how to stay on top of the trends, um, because like these other things, again, I've seen so many people put a ton of time, effort and even money into these forms of marketing and social media platforms. Um, and it ends up being wasted and they really don't get any results. And that's what I want to make sure that anyone going through this course, you know exactly what to do. You have it laid out in your action plan and you have the resources right there for you to help you to know exactly how to execute so that you get maximum effort out, sorry, sorry, maximum impact out of all of your efforts. Now, last module is, is a very important one. Go back here. And it is essentially an overview and editing, final editing of your action plan so that one, you, it's, it's laid out in a manageable way. Uh, and two, you make sure that you, you've got it all you know exactly what you're going to be doing. And seven, eight months later, you get to that month on your action plan. And you're like, you're not wondering what that is. You have everything filled in, you know what to look at. And again, you you have lifetime access to this course once you purchase it. So you can always come back, rewatch a module, redownload something or click out to a resource in the links. All right. And then down here, I'll just uh, click this. We have a way of tracking progress in the future. Um, hopefully at, at the time of this recording, we're in the process of um, getting this approved for CEUs. We will make it very, uh, very clear um, how to apply for CEUs if we do get approved in certain states. Um, and if it's not approved in your state, it's, if it's approved in others, you should still be able to apply for CEUs. So I'll go ahead and expand this. And this just shows you the modules and then all the different lessons that are involved. And I'll just do a slow little, I think I accidentally clicked on that one, sorry. Um, oh, no, I didn't, okay. So here we go. So a slow little scroll down and you can see you really get it all. I mean, you get everything you need for success in this business model. I don't go into deep detail about the process of, or any detail actually about um, about dropping certain insurance contracts. If you're transitioning out of network, that process um, we can certainly cover in the mastermind when you have access to that. Um, because really starting a cash practice or transitioning out of network, it's very similar to starting a new practice in that you have certain things set up, but you're starting to build your cash pay uh, flow of patients while you are slowly pulling away from the low paying uh, low paying contracts. So whether you're starting a cash pay practice from start uh, from scratch or you want to transition to the cash pay model, all of this stuff still is absolutely uh, relevant to you in how you are going to uh, make that transition or create that practice. So thank you for tuning in. Uh, I hope that this is all exciting to you. I know I'm super excited to put it out there. Um, it's been a labor of love. It has taken a ton of time to put together, but it really does provide everything you need for success in this model. And that, along with the ability to ask questions within the mastermind and in the in each lesson, there's a place where you can ask any questions at any time and I can get back to you in text form. Um, you know, you, you will have every bit that you need to have success in this model. Um, and so really now it's just a matter of, you know, taking the leap and getting started. And sometimes that's the hardest part. Uh, so if you have any questions for me, feel free to reach out. Um, anything I didn't answer in this about this course, would love to talk to you about it and uh, get those questions answered. Again, thank you again for your interest in this course, and I hope to see you on the inside.